Hi everybody, uh, this is Dr. John Chung. Uh, just before uh, two days or three days ago, I published this book, new book, uh, Digital SAT Maths. Yeah, it's on Amazon.com right now. And there are all other uh, Amazons in different countries. Yeah, they will post it right now. If you need to write this book, you can uh, go your uh, country website and Amazon.com. Or maybe you can come in my website, Dr. Chung testprep.com, there is an image, okay? The image is re, uh, redirected to Amazon.com directly, okay? You can find that. Or, because there are many, so many, right, digital SAT math books, so uh, maybe you can type digital SAT math by Dr. John Chung or Dr. John Chung digital SAT math. You can easily find by right, this book. Okay, just uh, we better go over, right? Take a, take a look at the book inside. Okay. This is title that is a free page. So why this is important. Okay, this one for the preparation both. Okay, non-adaptive test and adaptive test. There are two different tests. You know that, right? Okay, this is another test. Each module has 27 questions. So the time will be 43 minutes each module. Okay, can you see that over there? So, adaptive test is 22 questions. So you know what does that mean, right? Adaptive. Okay, it depends on you, the questions you solved before. The next questions, we don't know. Nobody knows that, okay? Maybe if you got correct, a little harder one. If you got wrong, the next question may be easy question, something like that. So each module has uh, given by um, 35 minutes each, okay? 22 questions, okay? But to prepare this uh, adaptive test, we need to write this one, non-adaptive test. Because this book is designed right, uh, to, uh, to solve right, any difficult questions on the SAT. Okay, so there are two. There are many uh, explanations. What is the non-adaptive test? Adaptive test. Okay, this is the uh, contents. There are sixty-three tips. Okay, so we can take a look over here. A lot of tips. They are both very important for the test. So you need to uh, go over all of this tip 63, okay? But the next one I'm gonna go right uh, there is, uh, each tip says by uh, practice test over there. I'm gonna go right directly to the test. Test is one, 11 pages, that's right. Okay, this is the practice test one. This is a non adaptive practice. Anyway, you need this one for the uh, adaptive test. Okay, all right. This is a module one. I circled uh, some questions over here. Today, so we're going to do how we use it with Desmos because uh, Desmos uh, on adaptive test, uh, Desmos will be provided to solve right, some questions. Okay, so there is a calculator. Okay, online calculator. Everyone knows this one. I just circled. On these circles, maybe we can use this Desmos uh, calculator, okay? On this space, uh, two is, uh, can be solved by using Desmos. But sometimes, two using Desmos a little take time, okay? But some other times, it's very useful. Something like right, a system of inequality or system of equations. That means what? System, okay, equations. Over here, also you can use right, some uh, linear equations or quadratic equations to find okay uh, some unknown number of k. Okay, so we'll try 
uh, in this video, okay? Right up to go over this one. There are 27 decimals. This is a system of equations. We can use, right, this decimals. Very useful, okay? Uh, that is a module to a lot. Number three, okay, we can probe here options. So you can find, okay, uh, so which one is uh, satisfied this one, okay? And number four and the number seven and number eight and number 10 a lot in this module too, right? We can use the decimals. Number 14, 16, and 21. 23 to 27, a lot. So I count this one, okay? Usually, we can use these decimals for the what? Around what, 15 questions, okay? 15 is a lot. Anyway, there are 15 um, practice tests there. So this time, so for the request, some students need a more detailed explanations. That's why this time I put my uh, detailed explanations for each question. Okay, you can see that. So self-study is perfect. And also uh, the question is very valuable. Okay, not easy questions, but not that much difficult. Okay, just like what the killing questions, not like that. But anyway, it covers all possible. I think all it covers every questions, the typical any difficult questions. If you finish all these fifteen test, you can solve it any difficult questions on the real SAT and additive test. Yeah, I. Yeah, I can say that, okay? So if you need this book, uh, take this book. So just so I prepare and for your next test, okay? There are 15 tests up there, okay? Some important questions may be a little repeated two or three times, or other one different, okay? So I can say this is a very good questions for the uh, uh, adaptive test, okay? That is uh, 488 pages. So USA, uh, margin.com, okay, uh, I put to a very lower price. Or other one, okay, more than $35, something like that. But this one is $29, I think. Okay, let me see. This is uh, test two. So today's just uh, we're gonna try some uh, circle, the red color, right? Circle questions. Uh, how do we use decimals today? Okay. Oh, let's go back over here, module one. So where is it? Okay. Here we go. This is test one, module one, right? Test one, module one, that's correct. How we use one number two, right? I'm gonna make big of here. Okay. For this question, so also you can, we can use by like decimals, okay? Or if you know what the complete this square is, better use that, I think. Complete the square is what is there? This one move to the right. Okay, so x squared plus 6x and equals to 3. And to make right perfect square trinomial, we need the number 9 in your left. Because 3, 6 divided by 2 and 3 and make the square is 9. Okay, you know the, the formula. So to find 9 there. Okay. Yeah, to equivalent, we need to add 9. Now, left hand side, replace with the perfect squares, okay? x plus 3 squared equals what? 3 plus 9 is 12. That's okay. Or, you can use the right decimals too. Decimals are only what? They cannot solve this one directly. Only what? Graph. So, you can let this is a graph. This is a graph. Okay? 
Now you can make a graph over here. Uh, y equals uh, x squared and plus 6x and uh, minus 3, okay? Back to the graph. So we don't need to keep run to this graph. The first we can try this one. A equals also y, you can use, okay, minus 9, you can, this is y equals x plus 3 squared minus 9, okay? Okay, now let's try this one. y equals x plus 3 and squared, it takes time, right, these times, and the minus 9. They are different. Okay, they are not overlap. That is not correct. Okay, another one, x plus 3, x plus 3. So option C is 12. You can try 12 first, okay? Minus 12 equals 0, okay? So you can probe your negative 12. That is exactly what match, okay? The questions of here. So you can choose right choice C is this, okay? So remember, uh, this com the complete square can be used, right, uh, for this uh, decimals, okay? All right. Here is number four there. So we have a quadratic functions. And uh, x squared plus 3x, for which value of x, the value of y is 18. You can quickly solve this by algebra, okay? x squared plus 3x equals 18 is minus 18 equals 0. So you can solve this one, x plus 6 and x minus 3 equals 0, okay? So x equals negative 6 and 3. So we have a 3 there. Or you can use the graph over here. So f of x, you can use f of x or f of y equal, okay? It doesn't matter on this decimals, okay? So x squared and uh, plus 3x. For what value of x equals y is 18? Maybe you can write down over here y equals 18. That is better, right? Okay. So we have right, two intersections over here. Decimals give you direct intersection, okay? 3, x, when x equals 3, or x equals negative 6. Okay. Then you can choose one of this one. We have right option C, which has 3, okay? That is number 4. We can go to the next one over here. Let me see. I think this one. Number 24. So we have the table uh, which has three selected value of x and corresponding value of y. And the g of x result is translating the functions five units to the right. So, first, before you using the decimals, you have to memorize this one. G of x equals actually right the f of x translate five units to the right is x minus five. <clears throat> That's right. Okay. Now using this one. Now let's find the value of f of x. What is f of x? This is difference is four. Difference is two. That's the Slope is about 4 over 2. Oh my god. This is small memory on this one. Okay, I'm gonna write 4 2. Okay, so slope is 4. This is a y intercept, right? When x equals 0. So the equation of this one f of x equals this is 2, right? 2x plus 3. After that, you can probe your x minus 5 in the x, okay? So x minus 5, what is that? 2 into x, okay? x minus 5, and uh, plus 3. After that, you can find that is equals to 2x minus 10 plus 3 is what? Minus 7, okay? Okay, now let's finish this number 24 anyway. This is the g of x, y. To find the x intercept, set variable y equals 0, okay? 0 equals 2x minus 7. So 2x oops, equals to 7, okay? So x equals 7 over 2. That is x intercept, okay? 7 over 2 and 0 is the answer, okay? So how we use these decimals? Okay. 
First one, you can put this number 2x plus 3 there, okay? Two x plus three. The next one over here. This one I'm gonna let this is my f of x. They memorize this is f of x, okay? After that, this is small little x. The next is g of x. g of x we know that f of x minus five, okay? So f of x minus 5, that is moved to the right by 5 unit, not this one, this one, right? Okay. From here, you can say that x intercept, where the x intercept, at this point is x intercept, okay? 1.5. Oops, this is x intercept. I'm sorry, this is 2x uh, plus 3, okay, one intercept, 2x plus 3, okay, sorry about that. So, new g of x is uh, 5 units to the right, that is f of x minus 5, okay, from here. This is the point, okay, 3.5, okay. That is 7 over 2, which is my x intercept of this new g of x, okay. You can use this decimals, okay. Okay, I'm going to finish here. We continue with the video next right, from 25 because I'm going to uh, reboot the system. Okay, so we continue. Okay, the pencil is not working well. Okay, so I'm going to continue right from 25 to the right, the last one. Okay, all right, thank you. I'll see you in the next video soon. Okay.